Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up paid OpenAI API account and start using ChatGPT API and other products. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you actually start creating your account and start using the paid version of OpenAI API? Now in this case, what we need to do first is we need to go to the official website for OpenAI, which is openai.com and start creating our account. Now typically at the top right of your screen, you see should see a link that says lock in. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on lock in. Now in this case, since we are pretty new to the platform itself, we need to sign up. So usually at the welcome back page here, you should see a link that says sign up. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do is just enter your email address and hit on continue and nominate a password and fill out some information about yourself for you to successfully create your account. Now, in this case, you could also use your already existing Google account, Microsoft account, or your Apple account to create your account, which is something really good because you'll be able to easily create your account. But in this case, uh, go ahead and just start creating your account. But I've already started creating my account, so I'm going to go ahead and just log in into my account. Now, once you've created your account or once you've logged in into your account, it's going to ask you ChatGPT Chat GPT or API. Now, in this case, since we want to use the API of their applications, let's go ahead and click on API here, and we should be able to see the overview page for open AI API. Now in this case, how do we actually start using it? Well, the first thing that we need to do here is we first have to make sure that we actually set up our payment method. So at the left side here, go ahead and click on the gear icon, which is the settings icon here. And from here, choose the option that says billing. Now under billing, what we need to do is we need to add AR payment methods. Now in this case, you could go ahead and click on payment methods here. And from here, you should be able to see all the payment methods. Now, if you haven't added your payment method, you can go back to overview here, click on add payment details. And from here, you need to choose whatever best describes you. Now, in this case, if you're an individual, go ahead and choose individual here. And from here, you just need to provide the following information. So that includes your card information, the name on the card, the expiration of the card, and the CVC or CVV of that card. Now also you need to add a billing address here to provide your country, address, city, postal code, state, country, province, and region. And hit on continue to save your billing or payment details. Now in this case, if you want to change anything regarding your payment details, you could go ahead and go to the preferences here. Like for example, you could go ahead and change your billing email, primary business address, and the payment methods I have here. In this case, once you've done that, you are now ready to start using API or, or the OpenAI API account that you have right now. Now, in this case, you might be wondering how what are the pricings here in uh, the AI, in the OpenAI API account. Well, when you go to the pricing section here, link under the billing section, you should be able to see the pricing that they have right now. So currently, uh, they have the uh, following pricing. So you could go ahead and visit or uh, look at what they actually have to offer right now. Now, also, you could go to uh, the section here for usage limits, and you should be able to see the following usage and how much uh, they actually cost. So currently, you have the token limits here and the question other limits that they have. Now, in this case, you might be wondering how do you actually start creating your APIs. So at the left panel here, you should see the API section. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, if you want to create a new key, click on create new secret key here and enter the name of that key. And from then on, once you've created that, you should be able to see your new key and start using it for yourself or for your other applications. Now, in this case, that's how you set up your OpenAI API account here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.